So biology has been called chemistry that crawls. And unfortunately, most of the important chemical reactions in your cells don't happen fast enough on their own to keep you alive. And that's where enzymes come in. So enzymes are proteins that catalyze chemical reactions. Right. They speed up chemical reactions. And we are not going to dive into how enzymes work, right? That is the subject of an entire class of, on biochemistry. Instead, we're going to think of them as machines that convert products into substrates. And so an enzyme that did this conversion, maybe we'll call it E1. However, there's a lot of chemistry that happens in your cells. So think back to what you know about glycolysis, right? You might not remember any of the details, but you probably remember that there are a lot of them, right? There are 10 separate steps required to turn glucose at the beginning of glycolysis into pyruvate at the end of it. And so it's actually better probably to think of this chemistry as happening in pathways, right? And so you start with a substrate and then enzyme one turns that substrate into an intermediate and then enzyme two turns that intermediate into another intermediate, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, until some last enzyme gives you your product, right? And so how do these ideas connect to genetics? That's a great question. Let's get to that in the next video.